Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and right now we're gonna look at AMC stock. You guys know that I've been covering this stock before the short squeeze, and we're gonna continue to cover it for all of you guys who are interested. And so right here, we're looking at AMC on the 30 minute time frame. And I know a lot of you guys in the comments have said that you don't believe in technical analysis in the case of AMC because of the short squeeze, the hype, or the momentum. But I will always do technical analysis regardless of what the stock is saying because when you have a stock with so much hype and there's so much news out there, there's tweets, all of that stuff is subjective information and the charts are always objective. The volume and the price action is objective and that is the most trustworthy information for me as an investor and a trader. So everything that I hear outside is more so noise and subjective, whereas this right here is concrete facts and I will continue to do this technical analysis. If you guys don't believe that it's real, or you don't believe that it should be applied to this situation, that is up to you to decide and if you don't, that this video is probably not going to be free you. So with all of that being said, the biggest trend line that I was looking for AMC to hold was this uptrend line right here. So ever since we've been starting this run up, we have been using this trend line either as a line of resistance or support. As you can see here, every time we broke down, we broke. Every time we held up, we did bounce up. And so today we did break down below this line and I was waiting to see if we were going to break up. But we can see with the volume right here, it just intensified with the selling. And so that was not a good sign in my opinion for AMC today. And the fact that we were up at around $17 today and we bled all the way down to 13. I know we were up still on the day, but we did have a lot of gains lost throughout the day. And so the next thing that we're looking at because we broke this trend line is to see if we can stay within this wedge pattern right here. If we can maintain this wedge pattern, it does conclude here around Friday this coming week. And so we will see a better indication of what this one wants to do. And so we could just see sideways trading for the next couple days, even potentially bleeding down. And so if AMC stock breaks down below the $7.38 line, I do think that is a good time to cut your losses with this one because there are a couple of gaps to fill to the downside. And also remember that this stock is being pumped up by a lot of retail investors. And if you see the Wall Street bets chats, there are a lot of different stocks that these guys are aiming for. Like today we saw an increase in silver. And so if you don't have enough buying power focused in on one stock and you have people buying other stocks then the hedge funds are always going to win and in this case if you don't have that much buying power coming into amc there's a more likelihood of this thing to go down than it is to go up and so if i'm looking at it on the daily time frame if you just look at the overall volume today the volume was actually very down today which i don't like to see on a green day it does look like there are less people coming into the stock and so that is a very objective number so there are a lot of people that are saying they're going to buy the stock or they're going to do something that's all subjective information the charts and the volume doesn't lie this is exactly what's happening and right now the volume is still above average but again if we look at what's happened the last couple days it is lower than that point and you can just see from the candles there's not that many buyers stepping in right now with amc and so I was pretty disappointed today in AMC on Monday. I thought we were going to get a lot more volume in this one. And it is evident that the Wall Street bet chat or retail investors in general are trying to diversify their money and they're trying to find different stock picks. So because we're not zeroing in on one stock, it does look like we're not getting enough buying power coming into the stock, which is going to make it easier for the hedge funds to win this battle. So this could get a little bit dangerous if we don't get more buying power into the stock. And then again, I'm not recommending you buy the stock because the fundamentals are trash. And so tomorrow is going to be a critical day for AMC. If we're not getting that buying volume coming in tomorrow, I don't think we're going to get it coming in later on. And so tomorrow is going to be a pretty indicative day for you guys as investors to know whether or not to take your profits off the table or hold and hope for the best with this one. But again, fundamentals are trash. The company itself is trash, but the short interest is there. But if you don't have people buying the stock, you're not going to have that potential for the squeeze and so the volume right now is leading towards the hedge funds winning this battle right now and so tomorrow if we do see low volume again it might get a little dangerous with this one to hold it and so again i will keep you guys updated on that tomorrow if you guys like this video don't forget to like we're on that road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to subscribe this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i will see you guys in the next one